Welcome back to another episode. And this one, we're starting from Marble Bar. Welcome to the hottest place in Australia. Average temperature in summer is consistently above 37 degrees. And I think it's got the record for above 37 degrees consistently for 160 days or more. She hot. Nice and warm here today. It's only about 25, 26. So, but it's the hottest um, temperature we've been in in WA so far. So that's nice. It is. So we rolled in here uh, yesterday afternoon after a cruisy trip up from Karajini and um, we just perched up in the local caravan park which we you can um, see down here it's it's not much chop it had what we needed some power uh, an amenities block to have a shave and a shower and and some water albeit ball water to get some shopping uh, get some some washing done so that's the caravan park down there so we did about a thousand loads of washing so we're all back to well, we're fully reconstituted now pretty much got a few supplies there's not much to pick from in marble bar so we're going to continue on now and um head up to coogan pool all right let's go marble bar marble hottest bar. place in australia what are we going to do all right so coogan pool is a bit tricky um, we drove straight past it. A, it's all fenced off now. Um, but I did read some reviews on Wikicamps, so you just leave the fence as you found it. So, um, back on track now and we'll head into the pool. Let's go. Look at the road trains here. Coogan Pool. It is amazing here. You're right on the river. There's shade, there's sun, rope swings, there's lots of stuff and it's all for free. Like literally. And we're just here for one night. I'll show you the river we're just camped on down here. So that is the pool. Great, absolutely great. Kangan Pool. Huge spot, put it on yeah. your list. And an unlimited time out you can stay. Don't Every. let the fence fool you. So we're gonna roll out of here, head to Coppins Gap, and that'll be the last night for our bush fix for a while before we head back to the coast. So yeah, we'll get rolling out of here shortly and um, head on up to Coppins Gap.
it didn't take us long and we're here. Poppin' Gap. Here we are, made it to the Coppin Gap pool. Coppins Gap, Mama. Yeah, pretty much like all the pictures. Are letting all the water out? Yeah. It's nice, um, nice look. Hmm. It is. We've been in colder water, mate. Suck it up, get in there. Oh, don't tell me that, mister. It's amazing as the sun goes down, all the different colours of the rocks come out. I wish the sun set that way. Right. Oh, right through the, yeah, that's what I thought. I thought the sun set right through the middle of the gap. It's so quiet here. It's beautiful, eh? Mm -hmm. Welcome to 80 Mile Beach Caravan Park. We're shutting up shop, fully set up, and took about 15 minutes, and now we're heading to the beach. It's a rinse and repeat of what we tried to do at uh, Pardu Station with zero success. <laughs> yeah, the tide was out like a kilometer out to sea, so. Ah, uh, well, we've learned from that mistake. Now, it's high tide, so should be some water to play in. Ho -ho. So I just ran from, to the top of the dune, which is right outside our caravan, and had a look at the water. Oh my God. This is the water that we've been waiting for. Been dying for this. Don't jinx it because it might <laughs> no, not no, be the temperature no. we're wanting. This is expectations are being met. Alright, ready for the big reveal. Dun. us for the day I think. Been out for a couple of swims already, the water's perfect.
from 80 Mile Beach. It's a bloody beautiful day here. 27 degrees, 10.30 in the morning, and we're back off to the beach. An hour either side of high tide, that's when the fish are on the tube. So we've got some bait. Yep, we got some 200 grams of squid. Was it squid? Squid, yeah. Yep. We got a whiting rig on. We got a sinker. No more lures. So we're not flicking plastics today, we'll get some bait out there and we've got to catch a fish. There are so many people fishing here, it's not funny. All, all the way down the beach. And that way. <laughs> Far out. Ain't gonna get it off. Wait a minute. <laughs> First fish off the beach. Tiny little one. She's excited though. Walk into the water. Okay, we've got something. Yep. Hook up. <laughs> How good is that? Oh, they're decent size too. Good job, sweetheart. You gotta hold it up like that in the photo. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. Double hook up. Alright, one of the popular things to do here at 80 Mile Beach is to watch the sunset over the water. And at low tide, it is just stunning. Have a go at this. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Beautiful. Cheers. I reckon this would almost eclipse Paluby if you could camp here. If you could just roll the caravan up to the sand here and camp, this would be bloody amazing. So that'll be that'll be the end of our 80 mile beach. We're gonna head off tomorrow. So we'll head to Broome. Hopefully we'll get there all the way. We'll do a quick resupply at Woolies, get some fresh fruit and veg, mm. and then we'll head up to Cape Levique for a week before we are booked into Broome um, towards the end of the month. And we've already rung ahead and seen if we could move that booking, but nah, rock solid there is no vacancies in Broome and we booked um, our Broome dates in January so mm. well, we're locked into that which is fine um, so we'll get up to Cape Levique and hopefully get James Price Point we just need Broome pick up some mail desperately need coffee so the coffee's waiting for us <laughs> we've run out of espresso Tenango coffee beans yeah um, we had our last good coffee this morning so now we're on to pods or instant from now on yeah and um we start school again on tuesday so that's not going to work otherwise yeah we got to pick up a school pack as well so hopefully that arrives by the time we get into broom which gives us time uh, to do the trip north and back yeah so we'll figure it all out and you'll find out when you watch the episode <laughs> yep <laughs> <laughs> we'll just wing it. <laughs> just wing it. Back to been winging working. it. Yeah, back and back to winging it. We've been, um, it's been working for us so far. So that's what we'll keep doing. Yeah, winging it's good. Yeah. Um, so it's, yeah, it's fun. All right, we'll enjoy the rest of this small little sunset. Show you a little bit, and then we're out. Because I'm almost out. Mm. GoPro picked up more than I thought. Then. I would think so. Yeah. Far out. That was good. Okay, so we are at James Point, James Price Point, a horrendous road to get in here and um, we are a bit exhausted after a long day, however we have a stunning sunset that we've just watched. So luckily for us we stopped into Broome and have a cooked 
chicken already for dinner we're gonna have that with some salad and just enjoy the red cliffs but we're in croc country we've seen boabs we've seen signs for crocs and we have this not too bad there appears to be a bit of a rave party going on over uh, just over here I don't know if you can see some spinning fire lights it, a bush doof apparently my cheer squad are telling me strange there's quite a gathering so yeah quite uh, picturesque we are just going to chill because there's not a great deal to do otherwise. Righto, first stars up, tiny moon, good sunset, dinner's just about done. Wine's chilled, all good. It's definitely uh, the best sunsets we've seen in WA. James Price Point and 80 Mile Beach take the cake for me. For me. Mm. This is a great spot because there's no mozzies, there's no midges, no sand flies, um, there's no wind, beautifully warm, there's potentially crocs out there, there's a big sign on the road, be croc aware, so we haven't been swimming. Anyway, dinner time, tubs, bed, wake up, rinse and repeat, do it all again tomorrow. out of there back out to the main drag and then up the bitumen to Cape La or to the almost to the top of Cape Levique which is um, pretty much all bitumenized now which is nice and then uh, we're heading out to Pender Bay so the road uh, that goes off the bitumen out to Pender Bay is crap corrugated sandy slow going rough um, and there's 27 k's of it left to go and we've already done about 10 <laughs> other day another dirt road yep so once again we've become very good at airing down after just airing up Reeve are all about um, Pender Bay Escape and we are just heading down to our campsite um, and then we might check check out the beach or something. It'll be tricky getting down there though. Yeah, like it's I there's need some comms from mummy. Tight trees and tight roads and 
a very steep hill, so it's right there. And we're down there. Well, we managed to get into this site all right. It's a bloody cracker of a site. We're right on top of the cliff. And this will be us for a couple of nights. And um, yeah, got a beautiful view. Bit of a goat track down to the beach, but we'll suss that out a bit later on. Morning from Pender Bay. We're literally camped up there and we've got to come down this goat track here to get to the beach. So, nice class four walk to get to the beach. And we're going to go out to Love Heart Rock. This is amazing. The winds died down. Yeah. Spent the whole afternoon down there just lazing around, swimming around the water. It's absolutely stunning here. Oh, I'm just up the you can see the caravan in the background. Um, I'm just at our little private cliffside access here. Um, just have a look. You can see uh, Rhonda and Letitia down there. They were building sandcastles and sand animals earlier. At, um, after a swim, but I come up here for a, a rinse after the salt water and I'd had enough sun today. I'm bloody like a beetroot sunburn, which is pretty well up to normal for me so 
I had to come back and make sure the beer fridge was cold as well. Just got to be careful here with um, uh, crocs and sharks. So there's been a croc sighted here since April, so that's that's a good thing. Um, but always super cautious. They don't really like this clear coloured water anyway. They like um, dark water, which is all murky because yeah, they're ambush predators. So pretty easy to spot in this nice clear water but you know we're always very careful making sure we weren't going too deep and whatnot but um, the water temp is perfect the conditions and the warm days are perfect the sands perfect it's just a such a bloody beautiful spot here um, it's a shame to leave tomorrow we gotta leave and head back into gen pop off to Broome for I think five or six days so it's gonna be nice get back in get to a caravan park we're plugged into a caravan park in over a week now so That's a Pender Bay wrap. Yep. Tick. <laughs> Tick. It's a beautiful spot here. Um, definitely put it on your list if you're thinking about it, uh, coming up around this region. <coughs> the, the road all the way up here now is um, bitumized. So, is that the right oh, To way? the turn off. Oh, yeah. to, to the turn off anyway is bitumenized. So, that's, um, that's really good. You just got the, what is it, 30 k's of um, sandy corrugations to get in here. Yep. So, and it's not like it's not rough and it's not dusty it's just sand mm. yeah so we're rolling down to Broome for five days and then um five nights five nights and then on to derby where we're going to do horizontal Ar falls, horizontal falls. <laughs> looking forward to that Give ya, give ya one guess of where we are. <laughs> <laughs> Camels, flat, beautiful water, sunset, car on beach, with 10 million other people. Mm. <laughs> That's right. Welcome to Broome. Yes. Welcome to Cable Beach. Well, we are on Cable Beach. And I'm about to ride a camel. I am so freaking excited. Oh my god, I can't wait. And the thing I'm nervous about is the if we're going on a ladder like that too. Oh, we actually have to get on them when they're sitting on their butts. So, and then like when they lift up, I'm gonna be scared. <laughs> 
Um, but anyway, yeah. I'm so excited. Yeah. Did she first camel ride? Yep. This is my first camel ride. And you're doing it by yourself? And I'm doing it by myself. So yeah. So excited. Looks like I am having to walk on a ladder, so yay. I'm waiting for the camels to arrive. Beautiful spot. Pretty busy, plenty of people here too. I get the attraction, it's a cracker. So, camel ride on Cable Beach, done. The camels are very cheeky. The, the first cheekiest thing they did was the one behind, so the one behind me was Cloud, but the one behind Cloud did a poop and you could smell it. And then we were, my camel, Alice, um, was walking and we had to do a U-turn. She didn't want to do a U-turn and was walking straight. And then um, Cloud was nibbling at the back of my t-shirt and it's got like nibbles on it now. And um, then what, and then, what was the other thing? What about the one that sneezed? Oh yeah, so um, the one behind me, Cloud, came up with his nose and went and it was a big sneeze and I got snot on my leg. But it was funny, I enjoyed it, I definitely recommend it. And it's not expensive. So yeah, definitely recommend it. Good morning from Vroom. <laughs> and we're off to the beach. Again. Beautiful day here, so good beach weather. So we're gonna go and perch up to the beach and do some sunbagging and some swimming and just chill out for a little bit. Big old sea fog out here this morning. Wonder why it was so moist in the campsite.
How's this sea fog? It's bloody incredible. Pretty thick this morning. Well, it's midday here now, but um, check it out. Pretty amazing. What are you doing, sweetheart? Making a stingray. What are you doing, babe? Good day. I'm cowering in the shade, of course. Yeah, there's the so the fog is calm. Currently, we're seeing ten meters in front of you. Oh, man, but like on the GoPro camera, you can't even see in front of you. It's kind of weird, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, very. That's the sea fog on land. So big. Yeah, I imagine it's quite rare in these parts. But we have just um, washed the car. What we need on it is some sea spray, just to polish it. Welcome to Derby. Um, so there's only two caravan parks in Derby. One doesn't allow kids, so they can, you know, drop dead. And the other one is clearly quite popular because it's uh, just on one o'clock here and check this out. It's freaking crazy. Rhonda's just going in to do a foot recon with the radio to find out, you know, if these people have got bookings or whatever. We're booked in, but far out. So Derby's the start and the end of the Gibb River Road. So I guess these guys are, you know, doing what we're doing. Coming here. Oh, we're only here because we're doing Horizontal Falls out of here tomorrow. And then, um, obviously it's the start of the Gibb River Road, which we start on Monday. But far out. This place is busy okay. and they and they're saying it's like this everywhere across the Gibb like it's the busiest they've ever seen it here in the Kimberley and we and yeah you know, we would have just we just experienced that in Broome so um, probably coming. can agree to that that it's busy up in the Kimberley right now yeah all right let's see if we can check in and Get a spot. Righto, good morning from Derby Caravan Park. What are what? we doing? Guess what we're doing today? Horizontal Falls. Yes. So it's gonna be awesome.
swim with the sharks while they're getting fed. No, we're not. <coughs> we are going in the cave. <laughs> First boat ride through Horizontal Falls. But we'll feed the sharks again. They do. Yeah, they get fed. How many times are they? Six. Just for each tour. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Pretty cool boat. <laughs> Today. I definitely recommend it. 
We spew and we couldn't go through the narrow gap. Yeah. Apparently it's got to be particular conditions and, uh, and less than 1.5 metre drop between the different levels but to be safe. So that was a bit disappointing. But otherwise the rest of the stuff going through the canyon and the gaps was pretty cool. And going super duper fast through the wide gap. That yeah. was fun. That wraps up that. That's that, that, that little experience. Is that the end of that episode? Yeah. That's that experience done. And tomorrow... Give. Nah, nah. It gets real. Gets real. Gets real rough. <laughs> yeah, real rough. I've got the garbage bags ready to go, back on the bike. Yeah. I'll be uh, happening shortly. we got a bit of prep to do this afternoon to get the combination ready for the gib. Righto. See you on the next bit. See y'all. Shaka laka laka. Thank you.